How's it going everybody, my name is Adam the Beast and welcome to a series I like to call Doggo Tales. This is a series where I feel a random story from my life that really has no meaning and is just absolutely random. But anyway, welcome to today's episode called... <coughs> Yo, what's up guys, welcome to this episode of Doggo Tales. The clips on screen do not matter currently, but there will be a couple of pictures that will... Um, Will be part of the context of this story, so make sure yeah, I'll let you know beforehand when there's a picture on screen. But yes, um, this talk of tales is about an anime and gaming convention I went to uh, recently. It was actually a month ago from when I'm recording this on the sixth of September. So we went on the sixth of August, and it was me, Spinning Ghoul, and our friend Cameron. Uh, Cameron's the guy I beat in that Smash Bros. battle that she commented in a video a while ago. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was at the end of one of my videos, so I don't know how many of you guys saw that. Here's a little clip of that anyway. Each other out, which is what we like to know. And we've got, of course, the three stock. No items, no nothing. Just these tournament legal stages. Adam already going for these ballsy down smashes. Oh, and he manages to hit one. But yeah, um, I'm going to kind of talk to gonna talk about the whole um, process during and after the convention. Because a little while ago, I did a podcast with um, Jacob, or Schluck. And I kind of talked about my thoughts beforehand, before the convention, and about what I've seen previously, because I went to one um, last year as well, which was a little different from this one, but I kind of talked to him, and we kind of talked about it a bit in the podcast, so if you want to check that out, you know, it's got, it's got my previous thoughts beforehand. But yeah, the day started like any other, I woke up quite early, because, uh, you know, I do, well, I mean, eight's not really that early, but it might be to some people, I don't know. But yeah, I woke up at around 8-ish, maybe earlier than that, actually. I can't really remember, it was a month ago, it was quite a while ago. Um, we obviously booked our tickets a week or two in advance, and um, yeah, I got all my stuff together. I got my Pit costume, because I decided to cosplay as Pit um, from Kid Icarus, which uh, I'll talk about a bit more in, in a bit more detail. I got that, put it in my bag, got my drink and stuff that I needed, so like my phone, my wallet, Smash controller, you know, the essentials. And then I went to the station at the bottom, or near my house, um, and then went to town where Finningall lives, so met with him on a the train. There was also a match going on in Norwich football match, there was a lot, of, a lot of Norwich City fans on the train, so the train was actually probably the busiest I've ever seen, and it was also a Saturday, so pretty busy train. And then we kind of just sat there and talked about, you know, stuff, mainly it was him going on about Pokemon Survive, and I was like, I don't really care, but okay. I'm going to talk about um, what we think is going to happen, because it was in a different location. Because last year it was near the um, football stadium on Carroll Road. And this time it was uh, in or near the university, UEA. So yeah, we kind of um, went there and then followed... Well, we got off at the station, at the train station. And then um, outside the train station in front of you is like the bus station. And as soon as we got there, the bus pulled up, so that was like perfect timing. And then um, we just kind of sat on there for a bit, talked some more. Saw some um, people in who we could assume was going to the anime convention because they had like anime t shirts on and stuff. I don't really remember what I was wearing because I changed my costume for most of the day, but yeah, kind of just sat there, talked a bit more, and then got off. And then, um, Spinning Ghoul messaged Cameron, like, yo, we're here because we didn't really know we were, where we were going, we didn't know what it was going to be like, and he met us outside. And then, um, yeah, I was like, yo guys, can you just hold my stuff for me while I go get changed? And then I got changed into my pet outfit, which, uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend something to you guys. If you ever go to an anime or game convention, uh, I'd recommend going as a character that's quite popular. Yeah, because Pit, um, that's been a Kid Icarus game in several years. Back on the 3DS was his most recent game, um, Kid Icarus Uprising. But yeah, I'd recommend going as a bit more popular character. Maybe an anime character is probably better. I mean, there was a few um, gaming characters like Mario, Luigi, Link, but most of them were anime characters. So yeah, maybe go with someone a bit more popular. Um, yeah, not Pit. It's probably not the best costume to be going for, in my opinion. Anyway, I don't know. It might be depending, but yeah, I went as Pit, and yeah, I feel like I could have gone as a better costume. I mean, the costume was, wasn't bad, like quality or anything. I just think no one was like, "Who the heck is this angel guy? Who, who's this guy?" But yeah, I got changed my costume, then we went um, to the bottom floor where they had like card games, so they had like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, stuff like that going on, and we met up with one of our other friends there, one of Cameron's friends, and yeah, 
Time to walk around for a bit. There was a lot of costumes to do with the anime um, Kakiguri. I did mention this in um, my Breath of the Wild episode 3, 4. Yeah, one of the episodes of that, but I mentioned there was a lot of animes, or a lot of characters from Kakiguri, which I didn't know at the time, but I realise now, because uh, I've watched season 1 and season 2 of that, there's actually like a third season of that that came out recently. I think like episode 4 or something was released at the time of this convention, so people were like hyped for that. So there's a lot of costumes from that anime, which I, I enjoyed, because I like that anime. And yeah, we kind of just walked around, uh, bought some stuff. Uh, you want to probably look at the screen now if you've minimised this or whatever. Because there'll be some pictures of stuff I bought. So I'm going to go in order of what I bought and like throughout the day. So the first thing I bought um, was a body pillow. But not like, you know, a weird one. It was um, of Miku, Hatsune Miku, the Vocaloid singer. And yeah, this is what it looks like on the front and the back. I don't know, it's just a nice one. It's not it's not anything strange like Flamingo has or Cameron has or anyone has. It's just a nice, you know, pillow. And the next thing I bought was something for my brother Charlie. Um, it was a a hood cape thing, it had like a hood. It was it was pretty much a cape, but it was of um, Gludo Mister from Jojo's Adventure Part Five, because that's his favorite character. Don't really know why, but I also like him as well. And I thought this is perfect for Charlie, so I bought it for him. And yeah, this is what it looks like me wearing it. It's pretty, pretty decent size, pretty nice and everything. Next thing I bought was um. A bottle, like a little sippy cup bottle, but it had Miku on it. And the reason I bought this was one because it was Miku and I like Miku. Secondly, it was I have a bottle like this before that I bought of um, Diva from Overwatch, not from an anime convention, just bought it on eBay. And um, the lid of that broke recently, and I think these two bottles have the same or at least similar lids, so I might be able to put the lid from this bottle onto my Diva bottle. It's just like a replacement lid. Instead of buying a replacement lid, I could bought this. So I have two cups now. And that's the main thing that I bought. I bought um, one more. Well, actually, I didn't buy this, but Cameron um, got like a mystery box of anime stuff. And it was a JoJo one, I'm pretty sure. And it had a figure of Kakuin from part three. You know, the, the guy, the li 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 li, that guy. That and um, yeah, there's a little plushie of that. And he gave it to me because I don't know. I like, I like JoJo, I guess. And yeah, here's that. But yeah, I'm going to um, describe the layout of the building now. So when you went into the main bit, you had the lobby where people were like checking your ticket and stuff. And to the right was the bathrooms where I went to get changed into my outfit. And then you went through these doors into the main hall where there was like a stage in the middle to your right when you get in. And there's the seats around it. And then it's kind of like an L shape. So you walk up and on the left and in front of you is just loads of stalls selling anything to do with anime. Anything you could you could think of like mainly t-shirts and poster kind of things and figures obviously a lot of figures i didn't buy any figures though but yeah you went forwards and then to the right in the l shape like upside down l or whatever reversed l they went through the doors past the stage and past the stalls into another room which had an upstairs a downstairs and then loads of more stalls around and there's a couple of doors and places but yeah upstairs was where they had the um games the video games uh we were gonna enter a smash tournament but we missed the beginning one because me and Fabian Ghoul we got the um normal ticket the standard ticket which was for one day because we only went on Saturday you could have gone on Saturday and Sunday and that's what Cameron and our friend did they bought the premium ticket where they got to come in as soon as the place was actually open we had to wait until 10 o'clock me and Fabian Ghoul but we actually got there like around 12 ish but yeah, um, they they went both days, so they got the premium ticket away. You can come in whenever you want, go in both days, and you get like a special lanyard with like your name and stuff on it, which is pretty cool. But we only went one day, so we decided not to buy the most expensive thing, just buy the standard one, because we didn't know how long it would take us to get there. But yeah, um, the tournaments were, I think, from like 10, the first wave of them, and obviously we missed that, or whatever, and the second one was at 4. And we didn't know how long they were going to take, and obviously we had to get home because um, I had work the next day. But yeah, we went there. Uh, we didn't actually do the Smash Tournament. Um, from what I heard, um, Cameron and his friend did it the next day, on the Sunday, and they came, I think, second overall, second or third. And I'm quite a lot, I'm quite a bit better than Cameron, I'm pretty sure. I don't know about his friend, but I'm pretty sure I'm a lot better than Cameron. I think it goes out of uh, me, Fibbingle, and Cameron. It's me at the best, then Fibbingle, then Cameron. 
I don't know, and then two are kind of equalish mainly, and then there's me who's a decent, decent bit better. So I think if we would have gone there, we might have might have got first. I don't know. I heard the people in first were pretty good. I mean, it was a doubles tournament, so me and Phil would have had to train our hardest and stuff. I might have gone Pitt or Terry if we did it, but you know, I might do it next year because we're me and uh, me and Phil McGall were planning to do this again like every year. I think next year in 2023 we're going to go to the one in London because that's um. I think two weeks after the one we went to this year, so that's like two weeks after the sixth of August, I think. It might it might change by then. We don't know. That's still ages away. We're we'll having to go there because obviously it's gonna be a lot bigger, and we're gonna we're gonna. I think Cameron's coming with us as well. Actually, we're gonna have better costumes, but I don't want to spoil anything in case I don't want to promise anything and then not happen. But close to the time, I might do a update video and actually record it this time because I was planning to record it, but like my my camera, I think it was out of battery at the time. I don't want to use my trashy phone to record. Because <laughs> I need that for, like, my train tickets and everything. So I don't want to, like, waste the battery on that and have that die on me. But, yeah, next year I'll probably record the whole thing if I can. Because there was a lot of copyright music as well, which would have... I don't want to copyright straight from some anime company because their song was playing in the background of it. I might do, like, a voiceover of the convention. So, like, record the clips, carry the audio and just have me talking over the top like I am now, I guess. Probably the best thing to do. Yeah, we were in there from for a long time. Um, Fringle bought a couple of things. Uh, can't really remember what he bought. Then after that, we all went out, uh, got the bus back to the train station, sat outside for a bit because there wasn't a train for like another hour. Uh, got some lunch from one of the shops in the train station. We got um, steak and chicken pasty. They were very nice. We went to the subway, but it clo and there was a few customers in front of us and it closed after, just before we could get ours, which a bit of a shame, but you know, they, they have to close, so... It's all good in the end. The pasties are quite nice. And then, yeah, that was pretty much the whole day. We didn't really do any, any like, gaming or... Card. Well, I didn't bring my Yugo cards or anything to um, play with. But I think next time, I'm gonna br we're going to go into the tournament. We're going to try and register in the tournament. Because hopefully, if I can find out when the one is next year, when I book my holiday, I can book that whole week off. So, like, because I think my holidays start from the Sunday. I might try and book from... The Saturday to the next Saturday off. So I get the whole week off. So I can go Saturday and Sunday. And then maybe me and the boys can like stay in a hotel somewhere for like a night. I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll, it'll be a lot more fun. And then I'll probably have a better costume. Or try and get a better costume. So I'll get someone more popular. Because the main... There was a few Jojo cosplays there actually. There was a, a female Dio. There was a Jolene from Part 6. There was Trish from Part 5. And there was a lot of... As I said before, there was a lot of Kakiguri cosplays. There was actually one of Junko from uh, Danarampa, which was pretty sick. There's a lot of costumes there, but I feel like... Because uh, um, a couple of weeks ago, I went around Finn Gauls and Cameron was there, and we kind of discussed what we're going to do for next year, and Cameron's going to go all out. I'm, I'm not going to say too much, I don't want to spoil it, but he's going to go all out on his costume, and then I hope it goes well, because like, having the idea is one thing, but actually making it like come to fruition is a very different thing. So hopefully he can pull it off. I mean, I believe in it. I believe he can do it. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this uh, Doggo Cell. Hope you did enjoy. Um, I did actually do a poll a couple of weeks ago of what you guys want to see in the background. So that's why you got some Skullgirls gameplay. That was the most voted thing. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below uh, if you've ever been to an anime convention. Or if not, if you if you think this sounds interesting and going there. If, you want to go, if you've ever been to one or if you're going to go to one, let me know down below. Also, if you've got any ideas for any costumes you think I, sh I could rock. Uh, probably someone to do from an anime, if not a very popular video game character. But let me know down below if you've got any ideas. And thank you for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you're new. And ring that bell. I've got some more content coming out every now and again. And yeah, keep rolling. Peace out.